we're uh, checking out the new baby metal that dropped today featuring Tom Morello. You know, and this is the first time that we've actually been able to react to baby metal for a fresh song. So I'm excited about it. Tom Morello is going to shred. So I imagine the song is going to be good regardless of how you feel about baby metal. Baby metal. I somehow sounded like a French guy impersonating a Japanese person right there. Um, <laughs> if there's a term for that, I'm really curious. Why is it whenever I'm watching anime and it's subtitled? There's clearly like a word that they use, right? But they'll say it in English and then just put some like Japanese flair on it. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, like they use like Japanese accent, but speaking English. Yeah. Have you never heard of that? Cultural well, appropriation. If you guys know what I'm talking know. about. I'm sure there's a term for it. Put it down in the comments. <laughs> Accenting? <laughs> I don't think that's it. Is, is there an actual word for it? Or do you think there might be a word for it? Well, no. So what I'm saying is, is in anime, right? Yeah, which should theoretically all be in Japanese because it's subtitled with English subtitles. Okay. But they'll come to certain words that clearly whatever they're trying to insinuate within anime, they won't have a Japanese word for it. So they'll say it in English, but it'll mm. be like it'll be like saying metal, but they'll be like metal. But you know, I'm sure we do that a lot. Mm. You know, like if you're I'm sure sushi is a Japanese word. <laughs> and if we're talking about sushi, we yeah. say sushi. So I'm sure Fair that's enough. the same thing. Just you don't hear it from a Japanese perspective. Guys, before we get into it today, um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Go check out our Metal Combat series because we're just wrapping up on the Thal Metal Combat that we're doing where we pit your suggestions against each other and give you guys a vote and it's a whole thing. But next, we're going to be doing Japanese metal and we'll probably be doing two different versions, one for more of the kind of pop mainstream oriented, you know, Hanabi, baby metal, things of that nature. But also we want to do the more like metalcore, deathcore Japanese metal scene within that. So if you guys have suggestions that we should check out, throw them down in the comments of this video. Otherwise, I'm ready to get into it. I think the song is called Metal with an explanation point featuring Tom Morello. So should be interesting. No clue what to expect. Let's go. Sounds Tom Morello. I have a feeling that's Tom Morello in the mask. Maybe. Jesus, House is lit. <laughs> okay. See? It's saying metal. Wash out, 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 wash out
All right. I, I didn't know what to expect, but that is what I expected. I'm interested. I know some people have posted things on uh, Baby Metal specifically. My understanding is that they're like a super group made of pop stars, like Japanese pop stars. I, I think that's why they're getting all this like kind of... I don't know if it's worldwide, but definitely in the States, we're like getting pushed baby metal a lot. You know, a lot of people want Mm. us to want people to react to it. The reactions get a lot of views, you know, on the bigger reactors and stuff. And then you have people like Tom Morello and, you know, the guy from Architects, I think even like said something or did something with them. So I, I think it, this is more like, instead of like, there's just this awesome band that exists in Japan, in Japan, that everybody just wants to be a part of their sound. I think it's more of just media, like whatever record company they're with is pushing this, this on us. I'm not sure, but I mean, it's cool. Uh, don't get me wrong, but I'm just interested yeah. in how they're getting put above, like, for example, Hanabi or any, a lot of these other Japanese bands that are around right now that seem to be killing it. Like Dexcore is really good. Hanabi's doing really good. Mm-hmm. Nemophilia, I think is another one or Nemophila. I'm not made. sure how to say it. I'm, I'm just wondering why baby metal specifically, maybe because of the most well, palatable out of them all. So... I, I kind of have a theory on this. Granted, it's not really based in any real knowledge or understanding, but if you look at a lot of uh, popular like K-pop artists or even J-pop artists, there's kind of this understanding, also like controversy on whether or not those people are actually even performing the music. Mm. You know what I mean? As opposed to just lip syncing, like I've heard things of the nature that, you know, record companies will essentially write this music and then, you know, have someone perform it. And then someone stands in for all the, you know, stage time to essentially lip syncing. Now, I'm not saying that's what baby metal's doing. It's just I've heard on plenty of forums, people complaining about baby metal not being a real band or this and that. That would never happen in the States. (laughs) I. (laughs) (laughs) Well. Well, all I'm saying is I don't really give a shit, but yeah, yeah. having said that. Yeah, I've seen some comments of people saying that. Yeah. Yeah. I think we've chalked it up, though, is like if this is bringing people into metal as the first stepping stone, why gatekeep it? Just let it be. Let's yeah. bring more people in the metal. And then people can discover bands like Hannah B. I think bands like Hannah B are going to be fine. I think, you know, they're still early in their careers that they're going to, you know, definitely spike and blow up, especially with this North American tour that they're doing yeah, yeah. coming up. So, yeah, one of the things I noticed, too, is um, I don't know if this is just my like social media feed or not, if maybe someone else is noticing this right before I saw that this was going to happen with Baby Metal between Tom Morello and Baby Metal, uh, I saw like this ad or like article uh, of Tom Morello apologizing for creating new metal. And I thought that was really funny. I was like, well, first off, I never thought that Rage Against the Machine were the creators of new metal. I no. can see where people make that illusion. You can argue with me in the comments if you want. I think Pantera is the creator of new metal, to be honest. They were the first to bring that groove. Now the rap part came later, but I think that they were the first band the first new metal metal band. They're pre new be- new metal. Let's call it. There are one of my favorite bands. Uh, I have to put that in there. But so I thought that was interesting. I definitely see in the song that's definitely Tom Morello's playing that riff that was in the background was something like I could hear on uh, Battle of Los Angeles or something. But they gave mm-hmm. it more of like a baby metal flavor. I was gonna say because talking about the musical aspects, like the solo had all the Tom Morello flavor, but it was like done in like an oriental modal way, which was yeah, really yeah, yeah. interesting. I just think it's ironic that uh, Tom Morello like was like, you know, got to stick it to the man. And now he's like collaborating with like baby metal and shit. I don't know. It's just funny to me. Yeah. Getting paid exorbitant amounts of fucking money, I'm sure. But hey. yeah, his generation is doing the same thing as a the generation before them. They went from cocaine to Rogaine. Yeah. <laughs> They're just commercialized now. People got to make their money, man. I, I don't. I'm. I'm not hating on yeah. it at all. It, whatever. No, you, no. you know, like the starving musician thing is like whatever. If it, he's Tom Morello, he can do whatever the hell he wants. He's proven yeah. his legendary status. So, but hey, if you like this uh, reaction, if you like us, subscribe. Continue with us on our ride. We're discovering Japanese metal. We've gotten into recently. We went down a hole with all. There's a bunch of new stuff that we're we're getting into that uh you can come along on the ride and see if we like it see if we don't like it we're honest so that's the best quality we have i think 
fucked up. I liked the song. It wasn't my favorite baby metal song, but I but I enjoyed it. On to the next one, guys. Later.